If you go outside tonight, it's possible that you'll be able to see one of the most incredible events in the night sky that's occurred in quite a while. If the calculations are correct, a meteor shower will occur at a rate in which it becomes a meteor storm, in which dozens to potentially hundreds of shooting stars per minute streak across the sky for a short period of time. I'm Michael Martin, and this is Late Night Astronomy. If you have an interest in space or astrophotography, please like this video and consider subscribing to this channel to join our growing community. Now, I just heard about this new story over the past several days, so I wanted to share it with you all, so hopefully we can all get out to experience it tonight, if it happens. So from what I read, back in 1995, a comet named SW3 began to break apart. Now, all meteor showers are streaks of particles from comets or asteroids going through our upper atmosphere. But what we're potentially going to see tonight are the remnants of SW3 colliding with our atmosphere at an incredible rate, if a number of things line up perfectly. To go out and see this event tonight, we're going to be focusing on times for the east coast of the United States. So please double check your local news to see what time this is going to be for you for where you live around the world. For where I live, I'm going to go outside beginning around 1245 a.m. on the morning of May 31st. Now the peak of this is predicted to occur around 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on May 31st. To see it, face towards the west and look up until you see the bright star Arcturus. It's from this region of space that the radiant of this meteor storm will appear to emanate from. They're calling this meteor storm the Tau Herculids. And if it occurs, it'll be an intense meteor storm of dozens to potentially hundreds of meteors per minute for a short amount of time. If the particles are large enough from the comet that they broke off of, and if they hit at the right speed and angle. It is just as likely, if not more likely, that we'll all go outside tonight for 15 or 20 minutes and we'll enjoy a beautiful night sky and won't see anything. But if things work out perfectly, this could be an event that you'll remember for quite a long time. If you're able to get out and experience this meteor storm, or if it doesn't happen and you go out and just enjoy some stargazing, please let me know about your experience in the comments section below. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.